I'm still thinking a lot about my spring 10 item wardrobe and I just wanted to share with you the process I'm going through as I'm planning it. Last week I looked at what's trending for 2024 spring and was really really inspired by the Ralph Lauren ready to wear collection. I found an article about it on Vogue and I actually ended up going through my clothes and finding a bunch of things that kind of um, were like things that I saw in that collection and I put together some outfits. I never belt blazers. I've never done this before. <laughs> um, usually I feel like my waistline isn't slim enough to belt anything, but I thought I would give it a try and I surprisingly ended up really liking how this looked. Uh, it was um, an L.L. Bean corduroy blazer and just this cloth belt that I got on Amazon recently because I thought I'd lost my other cloth belt which I then found but I really like the green color and then a shirt I got it was just like a soft blazer I'd got at a thrift store for free recently things they were just getting rid of and then this skirt that I've had forever and I added ballet flats which I guess are in this year and um leg warmers because it was just so freezing but I saw a lot of leg warmers in the Ralph Lauren um, ready to wear stuff too they were solid color but I happen to have these fair isle ones this is a blazer too but it's like stretchy and soft so I'm thinking I'm wearing it with a shirt and then I've got my giant tote bag which Ralph Lauren has this really cool quilted giant tote bag kind of like a Vera Bradley one. I might call my mom and ask if she has my old one from high school still because apparently it's back in fashion and anyway I really am enjoying like the contrasting stripes. I saw a lot of that in the Polo Ralph Lauren stuff too. It was like stripes on stripes on stripes on stripes. These are just some basic um, scoop neck t-shirts that I grabbed recently for three dollars a piece off of Amazon. It, they're from the Gap. They're like the Gap favorite tee which I've had before so I figured they would be pretty do pretty well and um, they were uh, you know on super summer or spring sale. So I got a couple of those just as a base layer but of course this spring has been so cold that most days I'm just layering and layering and layering. So this is a J. Crew dress I got secondhand many years ago. It's a Liberty of London print fabric and it's got some little ruffled details so it's very very feminine and I experimented adding things over it. I got this at a thrift shop recently for free. This top, it's uh, Tahari, and it's this soft, soft, I think it's polyester, but I really, really love it. It's like a mock turtleneck, basically a sweater. So I experimented with layering that and my corduroy blazer and then even my jeans jacket from 1993 over this dress. And that's kind of like, I mean like a print dress cottony dress like this is very Ralph Lauren probably would be more Ralph Lauren if it was in blue I guess but according to my research pops of red are on trend for this year as are very feminine things so this dress certainly checks the boxes for pops of red and for being very feminine and then I'm not saying that this is like the best layering ever. I was just kind of experimenting, but I do kind of like how the plaid top looks on top of it. And I do kind of like how the blazer looks on top of it. I'm saying this all tentatively because I'm not really used to styling clothes. I'm not used to layering clothes. And I know that when you see things, you know, online, um, they will layer things in these ways that are very very stylized and you would never do that in real life but I was just kind of playing around with it I could totally see myself wearing this plaid top with this skirt though um and my tall boots I think that it looks right it kind of has that English country girl look that I seem to gravitate towards more and more as I work on finding my personal style. I guess you could say it's like an eclectic style. I would say that at this point in my style journey, my style is um, like, it's like the American classic style. Like I definitely, I love J. Crew and I love um, um, Banana Republic. Those are two of my favorite places to get stuff gap but then I love to have little European touches like sometimes I like to try to do the French girl thing but most often I find myself gravitating towards kind of an eclectic look that ends up looking like English country style which is 
kind of what happens to my house too. So these are just random thoughts. I'm not defining anything super, you know, strictly. I'm just kind of having fun with it and discovering my style. This dress is from Walmart. I got it years ago and it's super rough Lauren-y though, at least their spring stuff. I tried it with the green web belt I recently had picked up from Amazon for $7. I'll link that down below because I've been really, really happy with the belt. And then I also tried it with, this is a sweater from White House Black Market that I got for free at a thrift store. I just had a couple lucky run-ins at two different thrift stores recently where they were just getting rid of things and I went through their getting rid of piles and I found some gems so I kind of played with you know layering that tucking it with the belt again this was all inspired from the polo ralph lauren pictures it's not something I would normally do mostly because I'm usually trying to not draw attention to my waist but um I kind of like it I think I'm going to keep playing with it I'm not quite sure I have it quite right but that's sort of the fun of this hobby <laughs> of planning. I'm still planning my wardrobe and I've worn some of these things around the house, but I haven't really stepped out in public in them yet, except to you, my dear viewers. But um, I also found this sweater for free in the getting rid of pile at the thrift shop. And I tried to belt that. I think that it's a little long and I think if I was tall and very lean, it would look pretty cool and probably look exactly like some of the pictures but on the Ralph Lauren site. But since I'm a little shorter and rounder, I might be a little too matronly for me. But anyway, I ended up pulling out all of these blue and white and striped things that I do happen to own that I hadn't pulled out last week after I was looking further at the Polo Ralph Lauren Spring 24 Ready to Wear collection. And yeah, I've got, this is a Gap uh, striped sort of sweatshirt thing and a blue, blue dress and my blue skirt. So I'm thinking so far, I'm just thinking like layer, lots and lots of different stripes, uh, contrasting stripes paired together and trying to belt things and wearing my leg warmers because these are things I, these are looks that I have found myself being drawn to, uh, as I, um, peruse my inspiration, mostly the Ralph Lauren site and also some things on Pinterest. So I just wanted to check in with you and share my updates with my planning and hopefully next week I will have my whole wardrobe put together and I can show you um, what I've come up with. So until then, I will sign off. I hope to uh, hear from you in the comments what you think about my experiments and I would love to hear what you're doing if you're planning a spring wardrobe um, or if you're still buried under six inches of snow. It's very cold here today so I'm bundled up once again and I will see you next week. Bye for now. <music>